Let's have a beautiful experience. In this video, we're going to talk about some No Nut November inspired workouts to help you naturally raise testosterone, increase HGH, and make that penis even bigger. It's a beautiful thing. You got to love it. Alright, before we get started here, please do me a huge, huge favor, please ring the bell, subscribe to the channel, you know, tell, tell some friends, and of course, give me that Arthur Fonzarelli thumbs up like, so I say, hey, and of course, you know, follow me on my social media, I go by Jesus underscore Detroit on my Instagram, Snapchat, I'm Young Dago, and that's right, in this video, we're going to talk about some uh, no, no Nut November inspired workouts to help you naturally raise that testosterone, make that penis bigger, because you know what we're all about here in the BCC, where I help you manifest the best, a bigger, wider, thicker, longer, stronger, and harder penis, raise that, you know, human growth hormone and testosterone, and of course, you know, if you need any help, and you know, I'm a spiritual guide and a mentor, I'm here to expand your mind and increase your size. So, you know, get at me in the BCC. I got a you know variety of programs and ways that I can help guide you along the way to help, you know, help you manifest the best. That's what I'm here to do. And now without further ado, I'm here to tell you about these, you know, these beautiful No Nut November inspired workouts. And yes, man, it's uh, you know, I know it might sound crazy or whatever, you know, uh, going about a whole month without ejaculating, but you know what? I mean, it's been helping me naturally, you know, raise my testosterone, and I've been feeling, you know, quite a bit of energy, really charging up my chi, because semen retention, you know, that's a towel practice that um, Montag Chi, you know, Montag Chi is a guy I preach a lot on my uh, channel here, and he talks about, you know, he's got charts, and he shows you that, you know, everybody should be not ejaculating every day. There's a whole bunch of other collective beliefs and scientific facts that say that your, you know, your loads recharged after seven days. You know, to me, no two loads are created equal unless you are so in touch with your body that you just know that every single, you know, ejaculation load is just that earthquake and body shake and just, yeah, just that explosion of love. And, you know, I'm here to one of my intentions here is to get you more in touch with your body. And when we're talking about, you know, semen retention and this whole no fab movement and the whole, uh, you know, uh, no nut November, I mean, you know, it's, it's not, not touching this, okay? It's about, you know, being aware of your piece. It's about being able to, you know, essentially, you know, be comfortable grabbing it, and this is about masturbation for manifestation. It's an exercise practice that I can teach you hands-on in the BCC to help you manifest the best, but with this, you know, what I'm really inspired here to talk about is, you know, these workouts of, um, you know, charging your chi with the semen retention, and then also, you know, adding workouts with you know, being in an aroused state, and I know that might sound crazy to some, and it's like, obviously, you're not going to want to go around the gym, you know, with a huge heart on, having that huge piece of meat that was slapping at the knees, throbbing to the pecs, making you your best, and we're talking about being that aroused, you know, having a, you know, huge heart on in the gym might, you know, be uh, problematic or counterproductive uh, to your workout, um, so this is more or less something that you should do at home and I've been inspired just because when I do my groga practice you know I'm usually out in the yard and you know what I gotta drop this bun just to have some fun just because this is the you know you gotta get the Jesus flow going you know what I mean Had that big bun energy we gotta drop it down have some fun here you know what I mean just to just to get it right you know look at that looking extra crazy today it's a beautiful thing you gotta love it. There we go. That looks. That's looking. That's looking right. That's feeling right. It's a beautiful thing. Oh yeah. You know, you gotta get that flow going. You know what I mean? It's what it's all about here. You got to see a bun drop. You know, keep it going. Keep it growing. And when we're talking about this flow, we're more or less talking about how we grow. And you know I me. Mean? We're talking about 
you know, pretty much working out with a heart on it. And I know that might sound crazy to some. <clears throat> and, like, yeah, I mean, you know, working out with a, you know, huge boner might not be uh, the best case scenario for some people. But, you know, like I say, you train insane or remain the same. And that ain't my saying. That's just been out there. And, you know, it's something that I'm going to be putting more into. You know, putting more into practice here in the future. Um, I've done, you know, I've done a little bit dabbling here and there, and from what I could see, is, you know, what I can see is you get pumped up a lot quicker. Um, but of course, you know me, I got that mind muscle connection where I know how to just pump up my body. You know, you always get me growing and flexing every time I be showing, and it's something that is always worth reiterating. Anyways, the mind muscle connection is really what helps you manifest. And I'm even learning from the Bronze Era bodybuilders. I follow, um, you know, Golden Era Bookworm a little bit, and you know, there's a lot of valuable information. And in that era, like they did a lot of like hardcore flexing. And this is something that I believe to be true because I mean, you know, you're essentially controlling your muscles. And like Paramahansa Yogananda says, you know, the guy that brought yoga here to the West, he talks about how the mind is the wielder of muscle. And the fact that you got that control where you can grow and you see them veins just really snake out and flow, that's telling you that you control the grow. So I want you to write down that I control the grow. And that's what we're going with in this flow. And you see me just growing literally on the screen. And what we're talking about here is working out in an aroused state. And I feel like that is just like a game changer because you know, you're going to be essentially in a higher testosterone state because when you're arousing your heart, you're definitely, you know, uh, producing more testosterone and human growth hormone. And this stuff can definitely help you manifest the best. And one of the things that I notice, like while working out, you know, while aroused, it's easier to get a pump because your blood is flowing, so you're always growing. And with that, man, I tell you, man, I'm having a whole, I'm having a beautiful night here. As I, uh, you know, I've been, uh, you know, all over the place, so I'll just fill you in a little bit. If you guys followed my Instagram stories and whatnot, you know, I'm working out at the house, and I went out for a huge dinner. You know, I had some uh, pasta, some fruta de mar, you know, all the clams and the scallops, and it was definitely a beautiful meal. I had a whole bunch of desserts, and it was definitely worth it, and, uh, you know, felt really inspired to go home and you know, just get a workout in for the night, and it, this is something that, you know, I, I just felt like, I felt the inclination to do it, and being inspired here, you know, sharing valuable information with the BCC is what I'm all about to help everybody manifest the best, and I feel that working out in an aroused state is definitely a huge game changer that doesn't get utilized or talked about and I feel like you know if people are going to be you know jabbing a vein for something you might as well you know have some fun and pump up your uh, your main piece down there you know what I mean I feel like you can definitely you know not only you know you're going to be having a lot more fun while you're working out and I actually have some clients and friends that you know work out in an aroused state and this guy you know one of you know sees around in his uh late 40s early 50s doesn't take any steroids and he's got a six pack he's in great shape and you know he works out uh he works out at home you know watching you know watching porno while he's doing it and i know it might sound like an american psycho or some type of thing but nonetheless i mean this type of stuff works i mean being in that animalistic you know sexually driven state it's going to naturally raise your testosterone. And I know, like I said, you know, I always talk about how people have porn addictions. And, you know, I'm not, here for, I'm not here to promote any of that. I'm here to, you know, turn what could be a negative practice and turn it into, you know, a positive. You know what I mean? That's what it's all about here. It's about t instead of making it like, you know, utilizing it for the drug, we're going to be utilizing it as exercise. And with exercise comes extra size. So write that down. I mean, instead of just wasting, you know, your time blowing load after load, you know, a jerk before work, a whack and pass, you know, going to sleep and just, you know, playing with your meat. I mean, this is a, something that is more of a practice to help, you know, your penis get bigger, you know, through uh, super edging, Kegels, joking all these exercises they're behind me and you know what i'm gonna take a quick 
Salute. You know, I've been drinking some vino and some beer earlier. I just got done doing some cardio, so salute. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, brother. You know, it's a beautiful thing, man. I feel real good, man. If I'm getting you smiling, I'm doing something right. The smile is divine. It's made inside the mind. And you know when I got me flowing on that, I got to start with the gratitude. Because every day before I take a step out of bed, I always got to give thanks. Take that breath. Oh, yeah. I got a shot today. So go ahead and write that down. I got a shot. I feel beautiful. If you're breathing, you're achieving. And, yeah, I know I might be sounding extra, you know, Rocky Balboa in this Detroit Rock City winter that we got coming real early in the No Nut November movement. But you know what? Uh, yo, we got we got, uh, we might, we got Thanksgiving coming, so I got to give you a quick one-liner. So, uh, yo. <laughs> so, you... <laughs> Uh, yo, the youth's uh, yo, the youth's Thanksgiving to me is just Thursday. You know, absolutely. I don't know why that's funny to me. I just, it's my favorite Thanksgiving line. You know, uh, yo, to you it's Thanksgiving to me it's just Thursday. You know, got my two turtles, Cuff and Link. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I mean, I'm, you know, it's definitely Rocky season, and that's a great movie to watch. And like I say, man, anytime that you're smiling, you're doing something right. Do something for yourself. Have a drink with the universe. I don't condone drinking or doing drugs, but having a positive vibration and doing something nice for yourself is doing something nice for the universe. So go ahead and take care of yourself any which way that you can. Don't feel guilty about having a you know having an extra you know something to make you feel beautiful and feel alive. I mean, we're here for a beautiful experience, you know, of course. You don't want to abuse yourself and you don't want to lose yourself into the drugs and to, uh, you know, masturbation for one, you know, I mean, you don't want to, like I said, you don't want to turn the ejaculation into the drug, and that's why, you know, my whole practice here is basically, you know, turning it into a positive and helping you manifest the best by helping you realize that you have the natural drugs inside you, you know what I mean, you don't have to go, you know, jab a vein for it, I'm not against, you know, steroids or any of that, but I'm just here to just, you know, rely on within, because I feel that what you, if you can channel the gods and the divine and all that stuff that's really just inside here anyways, then you're winning, instead of being, you know, relying on, I gotta do my post cycle, my pre-cycle, my this cycle, oh my, you know, it's just so much math and drugs, and, you know, if you ain't got it, what's this, that, and the other, and like I said, I ain't against it, but I'd rather channel Hercules, channel Priapus, because I know those guys weren't on no DECA, and I know they weren't taking no trend, and I know that all those drugs and all them receptors are all in here anyways. So like I say, if you want beauty to appear, you got to keep this clear, man. I'm a conduit for growth, so always keep your mind clear. Keep your just keep that mind just receptive to growth, and you're going to make beautiful things happen. And of course, we're talking about clarity. We got to come with that love, because love is an underused power. And, you know, I know Huey Lou in the news might have talked about the power of love, but he ain't joking with Michael J. Fox and Doc. We're talking about spreading love every which way that you can, man. So anytime you go out there and you see somebody sitting across from you in traffic, you know, I got to share this hack when I'm doing this, man, because I feel I'm changing the matrix for the better, this world for the better. You see somebody just staring at you. You see somebody that you catch eyes with. You see somebody that you're just thinking about. You hear somebody on the other line of the phone. I just just go with this flow, man. I intend on you to have a beautiful day, to feel love in some kind of way, and go along your way. And that's all you got to do when you change this place for the better. That's what it's all about here, man, because essentially the universe is a mirror, and whenever you're sending love out there, it's coming back to you. And taking care of yourself, you're taking care of the universe. So this is just a whole, you know, reciprocating just growth and love, just, you know, just pumping out and coming back and always being in that love flow is definitely going to help you grow. And when we're going with the Tao practice, you know me, the Wu Wei flow, the path of least resistance, one of the most, uh, you know, I do that, you know, the, the, I, I just come with energy. And like my tag cheese master told him, you go with energy, you can do no wrong. So I feel if you come with love and you come with energy, you're definitely doing something beautiful. And that's what it's all about here, man. It's about, 
you know, taking practices that could have been looked at as something problematic and turn it into, you know, a beautiful manifestation. And I feel like that's a game changer that's changing the world for the better. It's changing you for the better. And the more people that I get confident with themselves, the better this world's going to be. Because one of my main intentions is for you to be confident being naked, uh, you know, be comfortable in your own skin. And I always got to share this with you, you know. Let me tell you something you probably don't know. For everybody out there, for everybody, somebody's dick's getting hot and somebody's pussy's getting wet. So never let your insecurities ruin anybody's happiness. You know, if you see people at Walmart and you think this, that, or the other, keep that mind neutral, all right? Sexiness doesn't have a shape, a size, a color. It's a vibration and a connection and a, you know, it's it's a feeling, man. You can't just, you can't, uh, uh, you know, depict somebody's sexiness, man. It's a whole different feel, man. It's a different flow. And I feel everybody, you know, people out there get stuck into what sexiness is, man, and it's nothing more than what it, what that feeling is. And sex only lasts while you're in the moment. So don't forget that. Write that down. You know, sex is only in the moment. Yet everybody's talking about it every moment later, right? So I'm here to tell you how to supercharge your sexual organs and the supersizing yourself. And that's what we're going with here, man. We're manifesting the best because we are magic, we are divine, and we can increase our size. So go ahead and write that down. I am magic, I am divine, and I can increase my size. I mean, you see it just flowing, man. You see me going. And I'm every day, man. I'm always out here. I'm doing my thing thing i'm sharing valuable information spreading that love along the way helping you manifest the best creating the new workouts that just you know help everybody out and i really feel that you know the aroused workouts is definitely a huge game changer you're going to want to you know obviously be more in um you know you're gonna have to be obviously be more in a private place or a place that it's more accepted than you know i'm not telling you to go to gold's gym or planet or whatever and just start walking around rock hard ripping up you know ripping up your shorts or whatever having that huge piece of meat slap you in the chest saying how you doing you know what i mean but i'm just saying that you know we're about you know manifesting the best and i just feel that when you're working out in a roused state you're kind of you know you're you're in the flow of the grow and that's what this is all about i mean when you're in that motion you're definitely going to be increasing size and when you know it's something that i notice when i do my uh my groga practice i like i said i do it in the summertime and when i really get down in that position where i'm charging my groin up and i'm naked i've been in that position where i was hard and you gotta re this is like super edging like <laughs> this is like the super edging of the super edging because you gotta be you know you're you're at that level where you can easily just flow a load you know what i mean i've done it you know what i mean so trust me you know it's, it feels great you got the sun shining and you're blowing a load in the yard like a like a fountain you're flooding a river or come and i know that might sound sick to some but it's something that feels beautiful to me but like I said, man, I really want to charge up that chi, and I don't want to, you know, just spread my C, you know what I mean? That's where I'm at with that. And that was a beautiful flow, so thank you for that. And like I said, man, when we're charging up your chi, it's just about getting that load. Like, you know, you, it's not just, you know, you, you want to make sure you rock hard. And I feel like when you're working out, you're going to be more focused on muscles and you know you're going to be going in between sets just arousing yourself to get it to, to that throbbing state and working out with a cock ring is something that is going to be incorporated in the near future just to you know really supercharge it up you know and maybe who knows maybe put a penis pump on it i'm open to all kinds of ways to grow just to keep that flow going and i feel like this is going to supercharge the size and that's what i'm all about you know not using the drugs just using what you got man just really understanding that the sexual energy is divine and it can increase your size and i feel like if i got that super edge and flow where i'm normally just pulling on this to make it grow i can just be focusing on my muscles and then who knows and if i got that cock ring on there maybe i could just pull that up while i'm doing some curls or something or develop uh develop a different kind of like light dumbbell system which um uh, is preached about on the, um the, the what is it the golden era bookworm uh, bodybuilder website uh he always talks about uh the uh some sandow guy and the light dumbbell system and 
you know, how he manifested his size, and he was like a gymnastic, gymnastics guy. And, you know, we're talking about an era that knew nothing about steroids, and these guys were jacked, and they look good, but we want to get to that, you know, that Arnold size, you know what I mean? We want to go bigger than that, you know? I'm, in, I'm intending on being, you know, huge, wider than the door, you know, bigger than the building, you know what I mean? Being able to break concrete with my feet and be able to have that huge piece of meat throbbing between my packs, able to give it a, you know, how you doing, thick like that. I mean, that's the intention that, you, you know, that I have, and I feel like whatever intention you have to increase your size, it should be at least in the department of, you know, just feeling confident, and I'm here to help you, you know, achieve that and just to manifest the best of what you need and make yourself grow to what you need to achieve, and that's what I'm here to do. But either way, man, we're here to grow, and, you know, we're definitely about channeling the guides, the, you know, what's inside, you know, using, um, using, uh, magic so to speak you know what i mean because science you know i don't i don't you know rule out science but i don't rule out magic so i mean i'm open for i'm open for a miracle today i know that you're open for a miracle let's go ahead and write that down i'm open for a miracle today i'm clear to grow i intend on growing i'm a beautiful giant sexual growing god and it's a beautiful thing so go ahead and write that down before i get going and you know i intend on you guys to have a beautiful no nut november i still didn't blow a load just yet i'm keeping you guys you know i'm keeping you guys uh, informed of when i'm gonna do it um it's getting pretty close and like i said i listen to my body i'm going with the Wu Wei flow if it's time to let it go it's time to let it go but if i can just hold on a little bit why not we'll see how i'm going see how much more uh crazy i can get this month you know what i mean because you know me i'm a lunatic anyways <gasps> It's a beautiful thing, man. And, you know, we got the, I mean, we're past the full moon now, but, you know, either way, we got a new moon coming. We got Thanksgiving coming. Uh, yo, so you would, <laughs> I don't know. It makes me laugh to say that. I'm definitely going to put Rocky on after this because, you know, uh, yo, you'd Thanksgiving to me. It's just Thursday, you know, and I'm going to talk about a lot. You know, a lot of people, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to watch it, man. It's just Something that resonates in my heart, man. Something that just makes me smile. And I intend on you guys to do something to make you smile today. Do something for yourself. Have a drink with the universe. Have a talk with the universe. Whatever you got to do to make yourself be you, do it. I just condone on you to spread love and to be who you are. Because I know we are from the stars. And what's inside of you is inside of me. And the light that's controlling these beautiful avatars is here for, you know, it's here for a reason, man. We're here to do something beautiful, so let's grow. So with that flow, I intend on you guys to do something beautiful. Spread that love any which way you can. Make sure you guys get at me on my social media and the BCC. You know, really say hi to you know, say hi to my cat C. It's always taking care of the neighborhood. My bear, and my wolf, they're always you know doing their thing, spreading their love how they do. And of course, you know, I got a lot of beautiful things coming this year. I feel it, man. You're going to see a lot more beautiful content. And, you know, I'm here for you, man. So definitely get at me. There's going to be more stuff along the way. And, yeah, man, I love you guys. So make sure you guys do something beautiful. I'll be seeing you around. We got plenty more beautiful experiences to come. No nut November. I'm going to keep it flowing, keep it growing. And like I said, man, spread that love. Gratitude's the attitude, man. I'll be seeing you guys around. So, you know, like, oh, yeah, before I go, another Rocky one-liner. You know me. I'm putting that content out daily, so make sure you ring the bell. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> like Rocky says, hey, yo, I don't hear no bell. So make sure you ring the bell. <laughs> Not for him. Do it for me. Do it for you. Do it for the universe because you're doing something right, man. You guys are beautiful. I'll be seeing you guys around. Let's make our cock. Let's make our cocks bigger, wider, thicker, longer, stronger, and harder. Let's keep on growing. Let's be the beautiful giant divine beings that we are. We are beautiful. I love you guys. I'll be seeing you around. Peace.